Over the last few videos, I've slowly but surely been building my palace and becoming a queen. So actually, oh, there we go. Queen Rhesus has arrived. Bow down. King in the castle, king in the castle. No, but so far we've done the exterior and some rooms inside. And today my main focus is gonna be the kitchen, the grand entry and the master bedroom. And this plot is already valuing at $2 million. So who knows, by the end of the video, it might be worth 3 million. Subscribe and stay tuned to find out. So the first thing we simply have to be starting with guys is the kitchen. How have I left this so long? I'm somebody who loves food. I'm still vegan though. Mm -hmm. Right now with me, don't know if you can hear this, I have some flapjacks with me. I love a flapjack, but so far in this house, I have nowhere to bake one. Now you might be thinking, Reese's, how are you ever gonna fill up this kitchen? Look at this! So this is gonna be the vibe of the kitchen. And then I was thinking like back here, we could have like a seating bit in the kitchen. We could have an open pantry, which first means we actually need to add walls in my kitchen. So I guess we'll have a three and a three and a two. And what in the world? So this is actually a two story room, guys. I forget we actually have to build it up each time. Next up, we're gonna grab the pillars. Now we could use these pillars from outside if you didn't know that custom but <laughs> <laughs> 6,000. So instead, we're going to use the slightly less expensive. I was wondering if we could actually add like this pillar above them, or does that look silly? <laughs> Ew, what is this? Ew, what did you put in? And then to not be so basic, I actually think we should lower the ceilings of this part. So to do that, we're just going to use basic cube. And the easiest part is it's already a three by three, which is the maximum of the shape. So bosh, bosh, bosh. And if you didn't know, you can actually use this building hack to make your roofs lower in general. And then we simply have to be using these plain arches. What do you mean? Ah! But yes, that is gonna be our pantry. And then we'll have seating bits either side. Okay, so the kitchen is actually a little bit more of a manageable size. So now we need to pick the countertops. And if you know me, you know I'd probably normally go for like an arched or a traditional. I personally think the Craftsman one. And as you can see, it's gray and gold. And they have gold tops, but I think marble looks nicer. What in the alarm? Oh, I know what this is for. Drum roll, please. This is to announce the name of the palace. Megan, yes. It should be called Farquad Residence of Frankfurt. Well done, Megan. So just before I copy and paste this, I was wondering if I could like be really cool here and actually add some like swirls on here. I mean, it's probably not gonna work. And before you comment, Reese's, those aren't gonna open now. Who the hell opens these drawers? I ain't never seen anyone open these. So now let's actually start with the counters. We're probably about two minutes in. I haven't even placed one. Okay, so as you can see, I've left an extraordinary amount of room for the oven. Let's actually go in and see what we have here. So I think this is a bit extreme, even for me. Like, it, and it doesn't even look nice. <laughs> So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is add maybe two pro chef stove. Cause normally like one of these is seen as big, but two, and I have always said black, gold, and white is royal. This looks so much better than I thought it would, guys. <laughs> We're gonna have like the microwave unit over here, which yes, I've added three cabinets just for a microwave. And I have a small sneaking suspicion we should give these some texture, but they look so weird with texture actually. Oh, oh my now. NASA now. And I think it may just be because I actually forgot to place the wallpaper in like a noob. And if you didn't know, I've been using these to cover up the top of the this doors, which look really nice. Next up, we're going to do the island. I feel like this is a good smart thing to work everything around. And to be honest with you, I'm going to be a little bit fraudulent with this. So we're going to want it to be in the middle, which means two away from each one like this. Now, we only need to care about what the front and back and sides look like, not the middle. So for example, the sides are obviously going to be like this. And then in the middle we don't have to put a jack literally we're just gonna cover it up with a basic cube just using a mere simple basic shape that solves everything oh my gosh i've never seen an island bench so big I like them big i like them chunky but as you can see there's absolutely a zilch glitching on each corner of the island shall we add pillars i feel like this might be a bit pillar heavy oh my gosh no surely not i'm actually mental please somebody send me to an asylum <laughs> So this might be a good time to add in a chandelier. So I don't even know why I just gone and got a fresh one out. We have about a gazillion chandeliers in this house. And yes, it did just cost 30,000. But oh my gosh, that is so much better than pillars. Now, in the center, we've got to decorate this with sinks and all sorts of things. Now, the only sink I know that would fit in here is this one. But yeah, if you didn't know, guys, it's like a little inside joke of the channel that I just ob obsess with these sinks. I'm obsessed. And my only advice is just make sure you resize a cube down to 0.45. There we go. So we've got our gorgeous bowl sinks in now. Should I just 
steal the table runner. But I'm just gonna steal this table runner from the from the dining room. And then we can just steal the tulips too. And flowers are such a nice way just to light up a room. Oh baby, I'm growing my own little nursery of tulips in here. Yeah, I really am gonna have to get rid of that green. I'm so sorry. Hey, there we go. That looks a little bit nicer. It's just not so in your face. And then we'll finish this table off with some of these. Now I have a funny story time, guys. I got locked out of my house today. Actually, literally 40 minutes ago, I basically just left my key at home. <laughs> there's, there's no funny story. I had to go to my neighbor. I felt like I was in a movie, like an American movie, like, hey neighbor. <laughs> I also just added these roof beams in, which are just such a nice touch. That has taken a very long time, but it's time to get to the more spicy area of the kitchen. You guys have seen me place these appliances probably a thousand times on the channel, but what you haven't seen me build is an open pantry. Look at my pantry. Oh, come on. So I still don't know where the fridge is going to go. That can just go over there for now. I'm thinking the pantry should be completely custom hand carved from my bare hands. So it's going to be white. So we have the bottom one. It's like a chunky, chunky. And then as you get higher, we're going to have more and more room. And hopefully, yes, copy and pasteable. And it's only 2K, which I'm not even joking when I say that. That's actually quite reasonable for Bloxburg. And then for the ends, I actually think, yeah, I already have some of these large traditional ones. And there we go. This is insane. And I actually think I'm going to do a little something special here. I'm going to do my sonic run. Bush, bush, bush. And I'm going to keep my head down in the kitchen. Don't want to expose it yet. But I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to grab every cake I ever have had. Now, ironically, these are not actually to go in the pantry. That would take far too long. These are to go on my little afternoon tea platters. So we're having one of them this side, one this side. And also, I worked out that we could just put the fridge at the back of this. And it took a little bit of fiddling around, but I I think I managed to get the fridges built in over here. I couldn't think where else to put them. And I guess we're gonna store the preservatives in here, which if you didn't know preservatives, I don't even know if that's the name, but no, they're called perishables. Whatever food stores well, that is what we're putting here. I actually have recently discovered my love for cereal. Like I was never that big of a cereal fan until recently. And do you know what it was that like really turned me? It was crunchy nut honey clusters. I've never tasted anything like it. And once again, I've been a right doofus. Why didn't I just, just do this? So much easier. It's so much better. <laughs> To finish these two spaces off then, we're gonna do something very special. We're gonna have a round dining table, which doesn't sound that special, and especially not when it looks like that. What the hell? We're gonna be using wicker armchairs, if I can find them. And we're gonna be having what I call a table of eight. So basically, just where you have eight chairs. Duh. It does look a little compact, but... There we go, those are our little living bits done. So we'll finish this room off, I think, with some artwork. It is looking a little bit sparse on the walls. For the final finishing touches, I was wondering if we could actually use an archway as like a, a custom thing over here. Is that working? Is it? I don't think it is. And then finally, you didn't think I was gonna leave this floor hanging, did ya? And isn't it just crazy what floor can do so there we go that is the kitchen pretty much done once again like the other rooms i probably will end up adding some extras but until the tour that is looking amazing and i'm not gonna lie i actually spent an hour on that crumbs <laughs> Next up, just before we do the entry hall, let's go and do the master bedroom. Now, the reason this can be so insane, look at this bathroom, look at this closet. Like, oh, they're like two stories. So I actually think I'm gonna start with the bathroom. It's too blimmin' beautiful to ignore, mate. So once again, these beautiful pillars, they've simply got to be playing a key role. In this case, they're actually gonna be like my little door stop. And we might as well add in my roof beams, which look very um, unusual, let's say, up here. That's because I basically did a half and half Half roof. You know kind of how I said earlier how you can do it. And if you didn't know, you can actually use this building hack to make your roofs lower in general. So we'll do it a little bit like that and then you have to drag them all down. So let's see, is 4.38 good enough? Nope. And then that way it just stops you having to go down every time. You can just look on here. And already I'm doubling up the chandelier. So now that we've got the bases in, let's go into plumbing. And of course we're going to be using the iconic bathtub. You might be thinking I might reach in and use like one of these, but not today. I am I'm gonna, however, add it onto a raised platform. And we might as well use these colors, actually, because there's no getting rid of these pillars, unfortunately. Like, they are from the outside. We cannot get rid of them. You can't get rid of me, That looks so cool. It's crazy what just adding that can do, isn't it? So grand. I'm sorry. I do not know what's going on with my voice today. I'm sorry. Grand. Or shall we have these on, on here, actually? Or oh, that's a little bit more up my alley. What's your guys' favorite saying? I like it's raining cats and dogs. That's always been a good one. But yeah, I do. I like that's up my alley. We need some custom. 
custom plants, which for some crazy reason I hadn't added yet in this build. Let's actually check the garden. Maybe there's some better ones in here. Oh yeah, my poo shrine. <laughs> These look like poos, but you know, a bathroom is a place where you do a nice big steamy poo. <laughs> Not me having trees in my bathroom. Waterfalls as well. And you guys have been telling me, Reese's, that line at the top looks so ugly. Like, why don't you get rid of it? I'm so sorry. Um, I definitely knew that you could. And what else do we have in the garden? It's always worth just like a little extra. Like, we could have a fountain. For the rest, shall we use panels, actually? Why didn't I use panels? These are beautiful. So, we, of course, also need to add our sink unit in. I'm not so fussed on having a shower, to be honest. I guess we could get away with having like a corner sink kind of thing. Kind of like I did in my suburban house. I will have these. These two sinks. I'm not going to do the custom ones because we've already done that today. But, you know, you don't want to overdo it, guys. Um, yeah, you don't want to overdo it <laughs> in Bloxburg. <gasps> We'll have some nice towels. I found like that's kind of how people in mansions live. They basically just live like they're in a hotel. I might even have a chair here, almost as if it's a vanity. We'll get the most expensive le fancy flush trim toilet. I mean, we could give it a little bit of its own <laughs> raised platform. Looks kind of funny. And we can't have me ever running out of toilet paper. So there we go. That looking pretty grand. Criminal offensive. Side eye. And then, of course, with a snap of Finn's fingers. This is insane. It doesn't even feel like a blocks bag, but that is the bathroom done. So we'll do the bedroom and then the closet. So I'm a little worried about the bedroom. I don't know how I'm meant to fill up a space this big. I suppose we'll start with beds and. I just had the best idea. Right, I, I'll try and find the comment, but I remember seeing one the other day. Why am I shouting? I remember seeing a comment the other day, which was like, use the broken bed and then you can make a custom bed. Not only can I do that genius commenter, I can make the bed as big as I blimmin' well want to. So kind of like how you know celebrities, like I think maybe Kim Kardashian has, just has like a triple, quadruple bed. Well, oh my gosh, that is so perfect. It was literally just long enough. And complete side rant today. I have two weeks left of school and we got a new teacher. Like what the, our exams are in like a week and you've given me a new teacher. And wow, thank you whoever commented this. Like I love the custom vibe. Normally I don't really like custom beds, but this one I can very much get behind. And then we'll have to use a couple of these medium sized blankets. Kits, I reckon. <gasps> that is so ugly for a bed this expensive. Do you know what? It, it's not awful. I can live with it, I suppose. For our bedside tables, we are just going to be having these. It's $10,000 for both of them. <laughs> And if we go down to our drawing room, oh, we didn't actually add one in here, but basically just having like chairs in the corner is such a palacey thing to have. And then in this middle part here is of course going to be our little seating bit. Oh my gosh, that is like a full blown lounge. I mean, we should probably push it against the wall because if I have this in my room, there ain't no way I'm going to be skinny enough to fit through that gap. We'll then add in our wallpaper or panels rather. And it feels weird being in like a one story room, but I did realize that I couldn't have actually gone up any further like those things on top of there are on the fifth floor so unless Bloxburg wants to have a lovely update the uh, Bloxburg where you add more floors that would be amazing and also I completely underestimated how long this would take me like when I was planning this video on, on the train home from school I was like oh should I do more rooms like I'm only planning to do three I've already been doing for two hours I think I might even have to do the entry hall off camera because at the end of the day that is just going to be like some floor and stuff but, and also I'm going to need a chance to like work a little bit more although I shouldn't complain about the price I did choose to make this video right in the of an economic crisis. And I think we could do with pulling these down a little bit. Oh, I raised you. Did, okay? And then I don't think I'm actually going to do any custom floor. Can you believe it? I think we're just going to go for a pine plank. I've actually weirdly missed the default blocks bow texture. So as you can still tell, we have lots of empty spaces in this bedroom. The only way to kind of fill these up with is a hairpin lounge. In other words, a very fancy French chaise lounge. Why not have a grand piano? I once read somewhere, which might have just been a dream, but master bedrooms are meant to just encapsulate the entire house. Um, they never said anything about not being an entire house. And sadly, I don't know how to get rid of these bits on the floor. Technically, we could add little carpets, I guess. But I feel like this ain't gonna work, Reese. It's like when you put a pimple cover on or something. But let me know in the comments if you, if you think that those should go. And I was trying for a while to think of what to do for the closet, but it just wasn't coming to me today. My creative juices had hit at crossroad. So with that, guys, 
Episode three of the palace is done. So chickens, here we are outside of the palace, of course. The value is now 2.4 of a million. And we added like no blocks but items today. So that is 400K just wiped out. But anyway, let's head inside. So I was expecting like as we walked in today to have a really nice entry hall, but I've already been filming for like two and a half hours. I just don't, I can't. As we've already seen though, we have this drawing room, but before it was just empty in here. Now we have this gorgeous kitchen. It's honestly like an attack on my eyes how beautiful it is right this was our first room it took about an hour to construct and i really forget to color this microwave just ignore the microwave okay but the chandeliers the paintings the dining room this is gonna be such a fun place where i actually get to cook all my meals now it's gonna be so fun for role plays and stuff get out of the way the main kitchen of course we have like our afternoon tea bits we have our oven and we actually do have every appliance under the sun other than maybe a fryer but who's gonna be eating greasy chips inside a palace over here are the dining rooms which are really really nice or more actually the kitchen tables and if you didn't see last episode this is our dining room which looks out onto our gorgeous garden i love it anyway enough rambling let's head up my gorgeous staircase and oh wait i've gone the wrong way so this is the master bedroom it feels like ages ago we started this <laughs> this is the bedroom overview i honestly don't think it even matters that it's one story like i kind of thought it would but the amount of grandeur in here <gasps> We can also play piano, you know, flex that we can play Cladiloon. Over here is the closet. Now, I will admit, at the end, I was running a bit out of inspiration. So I was thinking we'll do this in another episode or I'll do it off camera. And finally, the bathroom. It is just a Greek god town S. <gasps> Not only do we have this gorgeous hallway, we have a gorgeous sink unit and a gorgeous bathtub. So there we have it, guys. That was the next episode of The Palace. Do subscribe if you had fun watching. Thanks if you watched this far and I'll see you all in the next one.